Today I'm going to show you how to pan roast a delicious game bird, grouse. Let's do it. So the first step for this recipe, we're going to make some indulgent and delicious bread sauce. Pop a saucepan onto the hob, turn the heat down nice and low, and the first ingredient is some full fat milk. So pour your milk out into the saucepan and slowly start to bring some heat into the milk. Next up, we're going to want some bay leaves. So chuck in two to three bay leaves, and next up you're going to want some cloves. So pop four or five cloves into the milk and while that's gently heating up you're going to want to take yourself an onion. So simply chop your onion in half and then remove the skins, pop your halved onions into the milk and you want to very gently simmer the milk for about 10 to 15 minutes. Stir it every now and again and be patient. While the milk is ticking away we can prepare our bread. I like to use a nice white fluffy loaf so here I've got a farmhouse cob. You don't really want to use the crust so chop your farmhouse cob in half and then just tear out all of the center, that nice fluffy white bread. Tear it up as you go into small pieces, pop your bread into a bowl ready to go and at this point we want to get back to our milk. So after the milk has been infusing for about 10 minutes or so, you want to remove the onion, remove the bay leaves and the cloves and then start to chuck in your bread. Go in with a couple of handfuls at a time, give it a good stir through and then keep going until you've got the consistency that you like. You can have it thicker or thinner, this really is up to you and when it's at the consistency that you're looking for you want to season your bread sauce with some salt and some freshly ground black pepper and the next ingredient to add a nice bit of spice is some nutmeg so grate in some of your nutmeg give this another good stir through give it a taste for seasoning and my secret ingredient for an indulgent and delicious bread sauce is some double cream so pop in a nice splash of your double cream give it another really good stir through give it a taste make any adjustments that you want and then we're ready. We have an amazing, indulgent and delicious bread sauce. And very quickly, do me a favour and hit that subscribe button below. So now we have our bread sauce ready to one side, we're going to make our delicious spiced braised red cabbage. So pop a pan onto the hob, turn the heat to medium, and the first ingredient we want some unsalted butter. Chuck in a few nice knobs of your butter, and then the spices for our cabbage, we want a cinnamon stick, a couple of star anise, four or five cloves. So once your spices are in the butter we're going to quickly prepare our cabbage so take a nice whole red cabbage and a really really sharp knife chop your cabbage in half and then just spend a minute to cut out the big hard core at the bottom and then you want to thinly slice your cabbage make sure you keep it nice and even so it all cooks at the same rate and then once you've sliced up your cabbage chuck that into a bowl and then you want to throw that into the pan with the spiced butter give the cabbage a good stir through coating it in the spices and the butter and then after a couple of moments you want to season. So add a good pinch of sea salt, a few twists of freshly ground black pepper, and then you want to give the cabbage another couple of minutes before we go in with our runny honey. So add a good tablespoon of your honey, give it a good stir through, and then we're going to want to deglaze with some red wine. So pour in a really nice splash of your red wine, cook that out for a few minutes to burn off the alcohol, and then you want some lovely red wine vinegar. Add a little splash of your red wine vinegar and give everything a really good stir through and this really is the kind of recipe that you make adjustments as you go so no recipe needed so cook this out for a good 15 to 20 minutes keep tasting as you go so if it's not tender enough just add a little splash of water just so you can keep braising the cabbage and when the cabbage is lovely and tender but with a slight bit of bite spend another few minutes to reduce down the red wine and the vinegar till it's nice and sticky and rich at this point just quickly pop on your oven and turn the heat up high ready to roast our grain else. Give it one last taste and make any adjustments you need and then you want to spend a minute to pick out the cinnamon, the cloves and the star anise. Pop your cabbage to one side. Very quickly give the video a thumbs up by hitting the like button below. So now we have our bread sauce and our cabbage ready to reheat when we need. We're going to turn our attention to the star of the show, our whole grouse. And grouse doesn't take very long to cook at all so I like to make sure that we prepare some butter and some garlic. So take some unsalted butter and you just want to chop that into cubes ready to go and once you've cubed up some butter you want to take yourself a bulb of garlic and we want about four to five cloves roughly don't peel them just give them a good crush with the back of a knife and then pop those into a bowl along with your butter ready to cook and next our grouse grouse is an amazing game bird with a really distinct and delicious flavor it's really really easy to cook and a real treat to eat so take your grouse and you want to add a really tiny dash of olive oil rub 
the olive oil onto the grouse just to help our seasoning stick and then you want to season the grouse with some sea salt make sure you get the sea salt right into that cavity and then a few twists of some freshly ground black pepper rub the seasoning into the grouse and mop up all of that seasoning on the board and then you want to turn on your heat turn it to medium add a few knobs of butter to the pan and once the butter starts to get nice and foamy you want to lay in your grouse it's always best to use a pan with curved sides so you can brown off all sides of the grouse nice and easy so turn the grouse around in the pan and then after about 45 seconds you want to chuck in your garlic we also want some rosemary and thyme so chuck in a nice handful of your herbs and then throw in another few knobs of butter just to baste the grouse for a few minutes and we literally want to pan roast the grouse for about two minutes or so basting as we go you want to get a really nice bit of color on the outside of the bird and then after about two to two and a half minutes you want to pop your grouse into the oven where we're going to roast it off for another two and a half three minutes so while we have a couple of minutes you want to take some lovely watercress give the watercress a quick drizzle in some olive oil add a little pinch of salt and then you want some lemon cut off a nice slice of your lemon and give it a nice squeeze into the watercress toss the watercress up with your hands coating it in the seasoning and now we're ready to go so after about three minutes our grouse will be ready so get that out of the oven and it's really important to let the grouse rest for about three minutes on a chopping board so while the grouse is resting you want to reheat your bread sauce and your cabbage add a nice spoon of your cabbage to the plate and then spoon on some of that delicious indulgent bread sauce next you want to pop your roast grouse onto the plate along with a little red currant jelly and we want to finish the dish with a small handful of our watercress this meal is absolutely bursting with flavors as you can see the grouse is perfectly medium rare delicious juicy and pink so give grouse a try and i'll see you next time